Alright YouTube, this is the only machine you haven't seen go across the bridge. So we're going to do it right now. This is our 54 inch drum mower. Straight out, not all the way lifted. See if you can go back and give them a wide angle. <laughs> I know the tree's in the way. made it good job so we just got done with our second hay cutting in the back so we did that tonight hence why it's dark because we do everything in the dark it's more fun that way not quite pretty light for us to finish a project I'm sure he'll think of something else to do uh, so this is just our little bridge that you guys have seen before and all of our equipment fits across it. The only bummer with the 54 inch drum mower is that we do have to unhook the PTO and extend it, the drum mower out back to get over the bridge, but that's all right. What fun would it be if it actually went across the way it's supposed to? So we're gonna figure out if we're gonna cut more tonight or if he is gonna park it, but we just wanted to show you guys that going across the bridge We've done the baler going across, and the rake isn't really a big deal, but the drum mower does go across. So that's your little tidbit. So by the way, in case you guys are wondering, this tractor has 146.4 hours on it. We got it with 41 hours. Oh, geez. Yeah, so whoever the poor guy is who bought <laughs> this thing, he paid to depreciate this thing a lot. Thank and we you. got it. We still had whiskers on the tires. In fact, I think we might still have a few. I, I kind of doubt it. <laughs> but no, this thing has been great. Uh, I don't know if you guys could tell, but the reason I took the path I did is because my front wheels, this is why I need four wheel drive on a small tractor. Cause you're thinking, well, it's just a small tractor. It's no big deal. If I didn't have four wheel drive, I probably would have slipped down the hill because just a little bit of dew on the grass from twilight here is enough to make this thing slip. Mm. And so the front wheels are up like this. If I really wanted to maintain control with it out like this, I would need to put the spears on and have a few things of, of hay. But I use these like outriggers. So when I'm going around on the hills, the forks are all the way out to the side. The spears are going to be used after I'm done bailing or maybe during bailing. Um, so it's maybe not as critical because that thing is so stinking heavy. It's like 1,100 pounds on an otherwise 3,000 pound platform. Is pretty good and this is not 3,000 out of the box guys so you're gonna have to make it heavy if you want to use something like this but as you can see this thing has worked out really well we mowed the whole back in three and a half hours tonight mm -hmm. but mowing is a very relative term it's been dry here and so we we have not had very much grass uh, growing in the back up up here I thought it was bad but it's actually probably better up here um, Think so? yeah. yeah it's more consistently tall even yeah, in the short maybe. spots, it's probably 8, 10 inches tall. The top of that hill was not very tall up there. Yeah, I mean, it looked like I was mowing a yard. Yeah, I did. Um, and the only reason I mowed it is because I had to make a path to finish um, boxing it in every time as I was making my passes. So the herbicides that we sprayed out here seem to be working well. We've got a few trees here and there. But uh, otherwise, it's been, been a good experience. So we're going to pick up, probably get up in the morning and cut the front yard and we'll just be done for tonight just because it's so hard to see and it's kind of dangerous if i was doing this on a weekday it'd be one thing but it's the weekend i need this stuff to be cut tomorrow so it can be drying out and then sunday i'll try my best to bale it i don't know if that means bale it all or rake it or what but we've got rain coming on tuesday or wednesday potentially mm -hmm. so that's the nature of the beast when you're doing hay is you got mother nature set your timeline 
That's it. Thanks for watching, guys.